What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to make a nice little case for the Raspberry Pi 3. I showed you guys in another video where I gave you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get all your retro gaming. I wanted to create a tutorial that was going to be very simple, straightforward, to the point for those that may not be tech savvy. Uh, you get a lot of these tutorials. They, they don't really break down what you need to do. So I gave step-by-step -step tutorial with screenshots on where to click, where to grab the data and information in order to get your retro gaming systems on. You can load the SNES, NES, Sega, all the Atari systems. This gaming device is amazing and you can do your own for only 35 bucks. So what I wanted to do today was to actually create a case. I don't want the component just sitting on the floor. I want it to look really nice. So this is what I'm going to make. Oh, by the way, hey, check that out. That's actually for one of our other uh, channels. This is actually really cool. I made this as well on this channel. So why am I explaining this? If you want to see how to make your own YouTube subscriber counter and you want to do that for less than 30 bucks instead of spending 500 dollars make sure you check out that tutorial as well really really cool anyway this is what i'm gonna make this is what your boy's gonna make i'm gonna grab this device this was actually created and uploaded on thingiverse the user that created this is 0110-m-p that's his username really really cool device i mean look at the details it's really nice and so that's what i'm gonna go with and see right now I just have this sitting kind of on the floor or on a counter probably scratch up my nice IKEA entertainment center we don't want that to happen so I'm gonna create a nice little case and I may even paint it a different color I'm not sure right now I'm going to use my mono price mini select 3d printer and I'm going to use the black filament that I have in there so who knows I may keep it the same it may look really nice at a dark black midnight color that might be really cool but I thought I would finalize the process from the video that I showed you before with a nice 3d printed case so i simply download the g code and i'm going to get that guy loaded into my printer and begin printing I'm not sure how long it's going to take my only issue and concern that i have i've been printing so much that the layer here on the platform is starting to peel so things aren't really sticking i i don't have any more here i'm going to have to order some a lot of folks say you could just use masking tape i, I don't even have any masking tape here at the warehouse i got duct tape but I, i'm just going to try to see if i can make it possible to make this happen so i can get this video up for you guys if not i may have to order this and this video might be delayed or i may have to just go find me some masking tape really quick at a home depot and try that give that a shot but that's my only concern right now i'm gonna go ahead and get this process started let's get a case for the raspberry pi that means i have a meeting coming up i can at least start this process let's get it let's get it started in here let's get it started in here I just simply set my temperature to 220 because with the model price select for some reason it never really stays consistent it's actually dropping on me platform is at 60 I did have this one increase so I'm gonna go take this guy back up just seems like it flows a lot better 220 is my extruder temperature my platform temperature is gonna be 60 usually it, it'll stay around that temperature frame there we go speed always starting off I, I use it at the default settings at one but I always hike it up to like 1.5 we'll see what happens there all I need for you to do is stick 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 and it looks like it's gonna stick why does that look smaller i'm hoping this is gonna be the right size it looks a little smaller than the actual device i have i thought it was gonna be the size of the platform would have been nice if i would have brought it here to determine that right tell you what i'm gonna have to call my wife to have her measure it so i can measure this before i go through this whole printing spill but it might work so we'll see Looks like my bottom piece is done. It's looking really nice. You know, I just went home. I had to go pick up some groceries, take to my wife, and I looked at the device there. I kept telling myself I was gonna bring it back up here to the warehouse so I can pop it in there to see if it fits, but I guess I'm gonna have to wait till I get back home. But as you see, it looks really, really nice. Took a total of three hours and one minute. I'm actually not gonna be here for another three hours, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to print the other piece, but it does look really nice. Now with the mono price, it gives you this little device to kind of scrape your uh, print off of there. This is why all of this is messed up here, trying to get it off. But I, I just use my Kershaw knife and I kind of just angle it and just pry it off. And that seems to do the trick really well. It always sounds like it's gonna break in half. I do worry about the sides because it could possibly happen, but 
Wow, check that out. And that was that one area that I was a little worried about right there. But of course, it's not that bad. And that happened because of this right there. So I'm gonna try to fix it a little bit before I do that next print tomorrow. Just simply peel this out and flatten it out. But yeah, <laughs> it looks really nice. Looks really good. Can't wait to get the other piece and pop this guy in there. But I'm gonna take this home first. That way, before tomorrow, before I print the other, I wanna make sure it is gonna sit in there. We'll see what happens. You know what? I said screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and print the top. It said took about three hours last time. I'll try to speed it up a little bit, two and a half hours. I can stretch out my time here at the warehouse a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and get this guy started. Gonna set the extruder temperature again to 220 degrees Celsius. Also gonna have the platform set to 60 degrees Celsius. Right now, I always start to speed off until at least the bottom foundation is in place. And then I'll go ahead and I'll speed it up. I had the other one going at 1.5 i'll probably take it up to 1.8 or so i push that down a little bit i think we're going to be okay that way we'll have our cover done guys Alright guys, that took three hours as well, but the bottom part is complete. Finally. Actually, I'm sorry, this is the top. The top, bottom, top, bottom, whatever. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my trusty Kershaw knife here. Just simply maneuver it up. And there we have it. Now I don't know if it was for me maneuvering that part up. It doesn't matter. The reason why it doesn't matter is because when you screw it in, it's gonna lock in a place. Where was it at? Right here. That part did disconnect a little bit on me. But like I said, it doesn't matter because when I run a screw through to the other part of the case, it's gonna lock in anyway. So overall, that's fantastic. Let's compare it with the other piece. Here's the bottom portion. Here's the top. So let's get home and drop this guy in there and see what it looks like. Ah, fantastic. Hey guys, I'm back at the house now. I wanted to show you the finished product. Would you look at that? The case came out perfect. Of course I have to add my screws in there to secure it. It's still not secured, but it fit perfectly. That's amazing. So each area has its own respective uh, cutout for the devices. So you got your USBs, your ethernet. I think that's an audio on the side there. Your HDMI, that's where you're gonna plug your power in. Your micro USB. Uh, of course you can access your SD card there, your little SIMs. But it came out really nice. You can even mount a little fan in there if you need to keep it cool bottom portion oh this is really cool I thought these were nice because with this particular print it actually has an area I'm thinking about mounting this guy onto something solid and putting some little neons around it and kind of and pimping out my Raspberry Pi 3 but overall that came out really nice gotta give it two thumbs up you can't see the other thumb well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Mad DIY. Make sure you stay tuned. We got a lot of cool things coming your way. A lot, a lot of cool things. That came out perfect. I like that a lot. Going to do some more 3D printing here soon. Been really busy with the other projects and other businesses that we run. But I, I got to give a shout out to this guy here. He did a great job. I'll put the link in the description on where you can actually download yours from Thingiverse. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Mad DIY. Peace.